Hi guys, it's Otto here and today we're going to assemble um, an electric roller blind based on a kit with a Sonessa RTS motor. Um, it's a Sonessa 40 RTS which is very useful for larger electric roller blinds. Um, you have a WT um, edition or version which is a, a wired system and you have the RTS version. Um, this is the wired version. But it doesn't matter for assembling the kit, it's just uh, depending on um, on which one you want to use um, when you um, when you assemble your own blind. So if you want to use a remote control version, take the RTS one. If you have your own control system or want to use a switch, then use the WT one. So this is the WT one um, that we're going to use, and I need a few more parts which we have here. Those are on the kit. Um, everything actually is in the kit except for the uh, the fabric. So you can uh, you can purchase it locally. Or when you have an old roller blind, you just take that off um, and put it on the tube, which comes with double-sided tape. So you just peel this off and stick the fabric to the tube and it's done. So you can even use your old, old roller blinds if you prefer to do that. So let's start. Um, first, we're going to put some parts in the motor. Um, that's the, uh, the crown and drive. So this part goes here. You just slide it over here. And there's a little ridge here, and that's where the opening has to be. This will fit together, and we'll later on when we slide into the tube, you'll see that there's a, actually a pocket in the tube that holds these parts together. Then on the other side, place this part, and just click it on. So once that's on, you could slide it into the tube, um, but there's two things you need to do. Um, to be able to take it out and slide in easily. Um, first is, this is actually um, a version that fits very tightly. So when you push it in um, and you keep it like this, when you pull it out, because you need to change the motor or whatever else, this will stay in the tube. So that's not ideal. So there's a small part that's included in the kit. And it's sort of like a cover. Looks like this. And you have one screw that we can use to attach it to the motor itself. So this just goes over that part. You put the screw in and screw that in place to fix it in position. And that's it. So now when there's pressure on here, when you pull it out, stays in position and doesn't end up in the tube stuck which is a bit of a nightmare so we have this part done um, because it slides in not so easily I'm just going to use a little bit of oil I'll just use sunflower oil here you can use anything as a that, that can, you can use a lubricant to push it in so I'll just put it on the end not too much, just enough to make it slide in. And then you push it into the tube, and you're going to do that on, of course, the side that you want your motor to be on, because the power cord comes out. So do that closest to where your power is. I'm going to push it in. As you can see, it's sliding easily now. And before we reach the end, we have to look where this little pocket is because that's where the opening will be. And there you go, that's in position. Now on the other end of the tube, we need also something to be able to hang up the tube later on into the brackets. That's this part, this plug, that will be included in the kit as well. There's an opening here and that will go there. So if it's easy, just push this in. There you go. If it's if it's tight, just use a hammer. Use some force to get it in. So that's it. That's almost uh, the largest part of it done. So what we have left is a uh, is the part that connects the motor to the bracket. This is the bracket. So there's a cross here. That will go 
will fit like this. And on the other side, there's this bracket. And we don't need to do anything with that because that will just go in there. As you can see. So to prepare the motor to fit into the bracket, all you need to do is take this part and align that with the two holes in the motor. You take the screws and you fix it to the motor. The screws are included in the, in the kit as well, because they need to be a specific length and size. So just put those in. That's one, and there's the second one. So you're only going to use two, two of the holes, because there's only two holes in the motor. And there you go, all done. Then we need to attach the fabric. The fabric cut to size already. If you're going to use a fabric um, and you use a new fabric, make sure that there's some sort of weight on the bottom because you want gravity to keep the, uh, the fabric nice and, uh, and flat once it's rolled out. Um, and it also makes it easy for the motor to, uh, to roll it down. Um, I'm just going to unroll it. I'm just going to peel off the strip on the motor, oh sorry, in the tube. And then there's this little ridge here that makes it easy to align the fabric perfectly straight. There you go, now all you need to do is roll it up. There you are, all you need to do now put the brackets on the wall or on the ceiling depending on how you want to hang them. There's two covers included that you can use to hide the covers or to hide the brackets. Um, it makes it look a little bit nicer. You slide in here in these little pockets so they fit perfectly. So one for each side There you are, an electric roller blind within a few minutes based on the kit with all the parts you need. So if you're interested in the kit or have any questions, uh, look at the description below the video. We'll have all the links and all the relevant information. If you have questions, there's also an email address that you can use to uh, address your questions too. Thanks for watching and see you next time.